Take one. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> what is a Valamore? I mean, that's that's a very loaded question. God, how do you? I don't, I don't know how to sum up Valamore. Valamore is like one of the biggest expansions we've ever made for old school. Entire new lands, entire new quests, entire new people. It's like a fusion of Rome and Mayan. It is just so much content packed into one update. We've got Civitas Illafortis. We have the Colosseum. Perilous Moons. The Hunter Guild. We have Agility, we have Thieving, we have Combat, we have Questing. There's just so much to get, to get these teeth stuck into. What is Valamore? <laughs> what is Valamore? Uh, Valamore is a... Uh, uh, hang on. So Valamore is the latest area. <laughs> Valamor is uh, quite isolated from the world right now. It is a region that has not been accessible by anything pretty much other than sea or a very treacherous mountain pass. Those barriers are being opened up so that people can come in. To some people, it will be a landmass where there's some content they engage with. To others, it will be a sort of very story-rich push into the future for Old School RuneScape's narrative. Why is it being released in so many parts? Why are we doing it in multiple parts? I genuinely could not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just so large. There's so much stuff that we really want to do for Valamore and trying to do it all in one big go. We run a lot of risks of like burning out players as well as developers. I think it also helps as well because we can take the learnings from batch one and make sure batch two doesn't make the same mistakes. Same with batch three as well. And you know, it gives us the opportunity to slowly unlock the world and still give players something to look forward to. How do players access Valamore? Uh, birds. <laughs> you take a giant Quetzal and you fly the Quetzal into Valamore. I mean, what's more fitting to access Valamore than going via boat? Are you sure that's accurate? So, Mod Sarni said that you go there by boat. Is he an idiot? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what can you do when you arrive in the capital city of Civitas Illa Fortis? Crime. That's what you can do when you arrive in the capital city. Civitas Illa Fortis will be the starting place. As you enter Valamore, you'll be brought I think just outside the museum, so you get a nice overview of the whole city. We've got stalls for you to thieve from, we've got citizens and guards for you to pickpocket. We've also got a dog for you to pet for everyone that finds that a very valuable part of their gameplay. <laughs> yeah, there is a dog in Valamore. I would say, unfortunately, as much as I love the dog in Varrock, it's a big step up. Colosseum, man. Tell us the Colosseum. The Colosseum is the biggest building in old school RuneScape. I think you could probably fit the pyramid from TOA inside the middle of the Colosseum, so it's gargantuan. There's a lot of small little dudes, is the best way I can describe it. You've also got shield walls. You're going to have to maneuver around actual mobile terrain to block lines of sight, to block enemy pathing. But you have to be careful, because if you block line of sight to some of them, you're in trouble. We really tried to like focus on a core set of creatures as well. We've got a manticore, sort of like this human, jaguar, scorpion hybrid. We've got the minotaur, which is a very classic, I guess it's more Greek, but you know, Rome, Greek, and they kind of just borrow from each other. We've got the Colossi. I quite like the idea of the Colossi of Rhodes sort of being referenced for a Colosseum. So you're fighting this giant bronze statue, basically. We have this cool throne where the main boss is sitting. That's going to be awesome. He's watching you fight. He's really disinterested until you like get to him and he's like, okay, cool, I get to deal with you now. That's going to be exciting to see. Does the main boss have a catchphrase? Catchphrase? Uh... It's stomping time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stomping time. Is the spoiler that the enemy in the Colosseum was actually the dog the whole time? <laughs> if that were the twist, I wouldn't tell you. No comment. Confirm. There are multiple rewards from the Colosseum. Our first big ticket item is the Glaive of Ralos. This is a new type of ranged weapon which is thrown at the enemy and quickly returns to you. Essentially a boomerang, but dangerous. The Sunfire Fanatic set is dropped in three separate pieces, a head, a body and legs, and acts as a direct upgrade to the Prozolite set. Lastly, Dizana's Quiver will be given as a reward for your first completion of the Colosseum and is a direct upgrade to Ava's Assembler. So can you please tell us more about Terrorist Moon? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perilous Moons is a quest and a dungeon and a set of bosses. The quest will focus on how this dungeon came to be discovered. It's a fairly recent event and one that the dwarves who occupy the city above the cave have been 
a little bit distressed by. So for Perilous Moons, I've been the one animating the new Nagwas, who are these new uh, spirits, and they've been imprisoned in the Perilous Moons dungeon underneath Camtorum. It's just really cool to like be on the ground floor of uh, animating these new characters and just exploring them, really. We've designed the experience to be a repeatable one. Every time you enter the dungeon, your experience will be slightly tweaked, not by extreme amounts, but you won't be having the same run twice. We've got a lot of really cool new mechanics that you're gonna have to learn, you're gonna have to work out, things that will challenge you initially until they become second nature. And much like a Barrows run, you'll suddenly realize, hang on, I don't need to bring any supplies with me because I can do this perfectly. Yeah, so on the Perilous Moons rewards, got the Eclipse set that is gonna let you inflict an all new damage over time effect, the burn. We've got the Frost Moon set that blends magic and melee so that every time you cast a spell, you have a chance to sneak in a melee attack for some extra DPS. You have the Jewel Macro Whittles, the Blood Rager set, which is gonna let you absolutely shred low defense enemies. Is that the Maracas? That is the Maracas. <laughs> the Maracas. <laughs> oh my god, yes, the Maracas of the Blood Rager set. I don't think they're going to play Maraca sounds, unfortunately. It would be entertaining though, and I'm sure someone will make a way to do it. Can you please tell us a little bit about the Hunter Guild? Oh, the Hunter Guild. Hunter's Guild is intended to pretty much revolutionize the way you play a hunter. Right now, the Hunter skill very much consists of birdhouses and black chin chompers, which, you know, good pieces of content, but we'd like it to be a bit more varied. The Hunter's Guild is a must for both aspiring and master hunters. You can take on rumors from the hunters there and capture creatures from within Valamore or around the world. Not only that, but you can walk away with some nice rewards to boot, including learning the Valamorian way of cooking hunter meats that will give them an extra flavor and bring out a unique healing over time effect. Okay, there's a law question for you. Okay, you I'm ready to tank it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell us about some of the law behind Valamor? Some of the lore behind Valamor. There is, it has a deep lore. We have lore about the genesis of the city. We have lore about uh, why the Colosseum is there and, and, and what was there originally. We have lore of the dwarves. There's lore of the Valamorians and the rest of of, of the of the lands. There's we got the Fremenics in there, and they have their own reason. I I know we have lots of lore. I don't necessarily know the particular bits of lore. I can't open the book and start telling the story. But oh god, there is so much lore. <laughs> Bigly. <laughs> there, there, <laughs> there is Bigly law. Valamore has been an absolutely enormous team effort. And not just the internal team, but the players as well. Everyone's come together on this one. I think we've made something really memorable and profound. valamore has been a mammoth effort. People at every level, in every role, have contributed to Valamore in some way or other. And seeing it all finally come together, all of these threads being sort of woven into one big, rope of Valamore. Not only is it gonna be a massive piece of content, there has been so much passion poured into this and we wanna make sure that we're giving everyone the most they can get out of this piece of content. I think you're really gonna feel like you're in RuneScape, but somewhere you've never been before. And I think that's gonna be like one of the greatest parts of it, really. I think players should get excited for this because it is just so much content packed into one update. We're hoping that this is gonna be content that people can dig into for months at a time. Yeah, no, honestly, I think I think I think it's good. Just yeah. be excited for Valamore. It's just gonna it's gonna kick ass. Like, honestly. I don't know if I can say that, but I've I've said it, so You can say it. Yeah, it's gonna kick ass. It's gonna kick ass. Get ready for it. <laughs>